Hi, my name is Arif Hernari, and I'm, I'm an application engineer for Power Product Division with Texas Instruments. Today, I'm going to demonstrate to you the functionality and the advantage of our new smart bypass diode SM74611. A bypass diode is a critical component in PV panels. It was used to mitigate the hotspot that happens on the PV panels when the panels are shaded. So normally, these bypass diodes are Schottky diodes. As you can see in here, when the panel efficiency increases, the current that the panel are able to produce is also increasing. This will create a thermal challenges for Schottky diodes. And as you can see at around 10 amps, you can see that the power dissipated on the Schottky diodes will be reaching about 4 watts. So this requires a larger heat sink. Our solution is by replacing this conventional Schottky diodes with a MOSFET. Our IC includes a MOSFET, a controller, a charge pump, and also a capacitor. So when the panels are shaded, at first the current will flow through the body diode of the MOSFET. The voltage drop across the body diode will create an energy to, control, to power up our control, controller and initiate the charge pump. The charge pump will then uh, charge the energy into this capacitor and once the capacitor energy level has been reached, the controller will turn on the MOSFET. Once the MOSFET is on, it creates a low voltage drop across anode and cathode. This voltage drop will be limited by the RDS on of the MOSFET. And during this time also, the capacitor is the one who's providing the power for the controller and the FET driver. Once the energy in the capacitor has been depleted, the controller will turn off the FET and the current will flow back into the body diode and the cycle will repeat itself. Let's go over here so I can demonstrate to you the functionality of our SM74611. In here for our test setup, we have a power supply, an oscilloscope, a thermometer, and also a thermal imager. We mounted our device on a standard junction box. On your left hand side, you will see a Schottky diode, and on your right hand side, the SM74611. We attach two thermocouples on top of the device package to measure the temperature. Also, we attach a voltage probe to measure, measure the voltage across the anode and cathode of our device. As you can see in here, on the oscillosc oscilloscope screen, I have a current about 8 0.4 amps flowing through the device. I'm going to increase this current to reach about approximately 10 amps. In here, you'll see the voltage across anode and the cathode. During this time, the FET are, is off and then the current is being used to charge the capacitor. Once the capacitor is being charged, the FET is turned on during this duration of the time. The key to achieve a minimum power dissipation is to keep the FET on most of the time compared to the charging time of the FET, of the capacitor. In here, with 40 milliseconds per division, the time for the FET is on is about 240 milliseconds. And you can see the average voltage drop for between the anode and the cathode is about 57.8 millivolt compared to 400 millivolt of a shot key. This will in turn reduce the power dissipation on the junction box. Let's go to the thermal imager to show the difference in the temperature. On your left, left hand side, you can see the shocky temperature reach approximately 130 degrees Celsius compared to SM74611 temperature, which reach about approximately 30 degrees Celsius. Also, you can see the more quantitative measurements. You can, the temperature on SM74611 is about 45 degrees Celsius compared to a Schalke diode, which reach about 130 degrees Celsius. So we take this junction box outside also to be mounted on the panel to do an outdoor test. So based on this test result, it showcased that SM74611 exhibit 
less power dissipation compared to a regular diode. This will increase the reliability on the PV modules. And also, our device has a lower leakage current compared to a Schottky. For more information, you can go to the website on your screen. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.